We'll start with the Super Experience today. We have Lego Set 75367, the Vendor Class Republic Attack Cruiser. So I just want to be clear, this is going to be a very, very biased review, and also there's going to be more uh, camera shake than usual, and also I apologize for a background, because the actual set is so big, it goes off of part of my table. It is a massive, massive set. So yeah, first off, you know, we, here we have the box. It is, again, incredibly big. And unfortunately, mine has some damage on the side, but frankly, what, what, what are these size boxes are not damaged at this point. So you can see on the back, I love, 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 love little stills and you know, images from Clone Wars right on the back. And again, this is an absolutely massive set. You actually also have a detailing of it on the top of the box. And on the bottom. I mean, this is just amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, I'm actually going to be looking at the boxes that come inside of the set, because there is two, and they are just interesting as the regular box. So, yeah, I'm going to get this off my table. Here we have box one. And my, sorry, my camera's slipping a little. And we have this amazing detail on the side of the uh, interceptors and the overall bell. Of course, on we see the uh, Lucera Hulk in the background. There's a uh, munificent glass, multiple munificent glasses, and of course we have the Venator. Now I think it's really interesting that we have uh, this box art shown here simply due to the fact that it's uh, isn't a Revenge of Sith set, but uh, I I'm glad they included this. I mean, I think you can uh, make these very interesting boxes, and on the back we have a close-up of Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor and the Venator engines as the buzz droids are attacking Obi-Wan. So that is box one. Here we have box two. Sorry, I just hit my lights. It's really hard to maneuver stuff like this. Here we have box two, which has, of course, the uh, top side of the Venator. And here we have just another amazing shot of the Battle Over Coruscant. It's just beautiful. These are beautiful boxes. And I typically don't like these uh, inside boxes and sets because normally they are... Uh, not great. But here they're really cool. So now we are going to get the set and I'm going to, I have to apologize because it's going to be, uh, sorry, I zoomed in. It's going to be zoomed out a lot just simply due to the fact that this is a set that is very, very big. But yeah, sorry, just hit my camera again. So yeah, I'm going to go and grab it now. As you can see, this is an absolutely massive massive set and I have only one major complaint and I know this is probably just because I built some part of this wrong but uh this panel up here doesn't sit well um I'm again very sure I built something wrong here but it always just wants to pop up and I think it has something to do with how this section I constructed this section unfortunately um so yeah that is my one major First you know, thing, but I'm just going to pick up my camera. Fortunately, this video is going to be more shaky than most of my videos, just due to the pure size. I mean, look at all of this. It's an absolutely beautiful set. Now, my one major complaint with this is these front dark gray bits. Probably going to eventually modify those to just be solid gray. Also, I do not really like how they did these guns. I'm okay, I'm okay with these parts. I still think I might just change that to a just some uh, plates later on. But yeah, I also might change how they have these guns mounted ever so slightly. But yeah, as you can see, it's beautiful. I mean, look at that massive red stripe going down. I love both of the Republic symbols. And again, I'm sorry, there's going to be worse lighting because I don't have lights on that side. We also have just beautiful engines. As you can see, a C95 down there in its packaging from a previous video. Look at these. You have a... Uh, there's a bit of sag on a couple of these, but it's not too noticeable. Again, just some beautiful, beautiful techniques here. I love the red stripes going along here. And of course, we have on the side a hanger with the Micro Republic gunship, which uh, I actually have that UCS gunship. Now, of course, these don't open up at all, but that is to be expected. Of course, here we have just the beautiful, beautiful striking red bridges. Just look at that. On the side... I especially love these, where they, I think I originally did not like this, but I not like it now. Which kind of illustrates the fact that we have different levels in here. And they uh, continue some of that 
light blue, mostly covered up by grills over here though, on the side. I think it looks really, really good. And again, the greeblies are really nice. And on the other side, you can see there's a, a closed hanger. I'm gonna take my uh, camera off the tripod to show the underside properly. But there is a nice underside. As you can see, just coming up under here, the red stripe continues. I'm not sure how accurate that is. Um, I mean, we can also see, again, the underside for the hanger. Again, even closer in detail look at the Greeblies, which just looks so nice on this set. Again, I'm not a very big fan with how this section was constructed. I don't think it's bad, but I'm not a very big fan of it. I love the use of the ingot pieces. Again, I'm convinced that uh, this part over here is caused by that, because I don't think I'm having the same problem on the other side. So I might end up rebuilding this section. Looking at that. Again, so there's another stripe underneath, and I really love how they have this uh, stand built into it. Of course, you can see the roller coaster track usage under it it's just really really beautiful from pretty much every single angle i mean i could honestly display this upside down i'd still like it. now i do have one other construction problem right here with this underside i don't know it, it's just it's sagging i don't think it well that's not good that, that's really not good okay i'm gonna have to uh Fix that. Uh, yippee. Um, yeah, I might actually just ignore that. I might just never fix it. <laughs> um, oh, except now it's pushing up this stripe. So yeah, this is the overall problem with this. This is an incredibly uh, fragile, at least again in my construction um, set. I mean, let's let's you know let's let's try to fix this together. So let's. So I think that will give a very accurate view to what it's like inside. I mean, you can already guess just about what it's like on the underside, but uh, this whole stripe just gets removed. There's a, I believe it's just this stud here, and a couple ball joints. I hold most of that in. There we have our problem for the underside. The connectors come out of place, so let us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to get some of this apart again. Hey, I, I will say at least, though, this is more accurate for review. I, I love this set, but it is incredibly fragile, even for the UCS sets I own. Just look. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's that part. There's these rubber pieces I do not think work very well with how they're meant to go in. Hmm. Okay, I will be back. I'm going to go and try to figure out this problem. So now we have the uh, panels back on. And we just have to slide this part in. Just to get that aligned. And just like that. Now that's back in. Let us try. Hey, let, let us let us see if that's what was uh, breaking these panels. Oh, nope. So, like, look, look at that. I just pushed it in and it already is coming up. I just think it's how, how this one's aligned. Let's see if it's like this on the other side immediately. Doesn't seem to be as much. It must just be a this side thing with how something is aligned on this side, unfortunately. I'm, again, I'm guessing it's part of this system right here. But yes, now this is back on. There's no annoying falling off things. So yeah, unfortunately, like a lot of sets this size, it is rather fragile. Uh, this part comes up, but this, you know, is just how it's built. I think there's a major complaint about the you know, lack of interior. But I don't really think that matters. I think there is certainly some amount of space, you know, like under 
this section in particular. Um, I would take this. I'm going to see if I can take this off. Wait. Um, if you quickly just kind of get a little bit of a look in, there's a. It's not a lot, but there is just. A bit of space here that's just, it's, you know, it's just enough. I feel like they could have very easily, like on their public bricks UCS fender, it was like a little bit that they put in here. Uh, like right here, they could have easily put something. And I don't think they should have. I don't think they needed to. I'm just saying there is physically space to put it. Um, let's see, getting this panel on. As I, as I think with how easy this panel can come off, I mean, it's not meant to, but it comes off rather easily. I think there could have certainly been a possibility, I'm sorry, of this panel on purpose coming off. Um, I'm going to have to rehash some things. I'll be right back. So it's all back on. And of course, here we have uh, just kind of the tail area. that We have one of the six stickers. I said there's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. And of course, one on the other side of that. It's not really too much on the tail to look at. Now we come to the part of the set that I have the most problems with, the plaque. Wish this was not printed because you can see the molding mark. Not sure how well you can see uh, this, but like on the uh, snow speeder, because it's not, it's actually a sticker, you do not see the molding mark as much. I think that works better. And of course, here we have the amazing 20th anniversary Clone Wars brick, which is probably the coolest, you know, thing they could have included. And of course, here we have the Rex and Ularin. I think the Rex is good. You know, it's, it looks a lot like Ahsoka. I don't think it's a good Clone Wars Rex, though. And I think that's a problem here. Personally, you know, I'm not a very big fan of the helmet holes. I think it does work here. I like the uh, arm printing. And again, it's not a good Clone Wars Rex, but it looks like the Ahsoka Rex. And I will accept that. The Yularen is the better figure in the set. It's the best figure in the set, in fact. Um, if I could just put this down for a second he has a uh, two faces he just has his regular and excited i kind of wish he had an angry not you know not as curious whatever they did here of course for rex we remove his uh helmet and he has his uh inhibitor chip head i wish they had like the uh new falcon hairpiece in blonde but that is it is what it is I'll be right back just for my final thoughts on the set. Here we are at final thoughts. Now, personally, I am sad because this video was meant to be significantly more positive than it ended up being, but I think it was important to highlight that the build is very fragile. And, you know, even right now on this side, there is a really big uh, gap on the red, like right there. There, It's not too bad, but it is noticeable, especially on a, this side until you do uh, this. And that's kind of a reminder, you just kind of have to ever so slightly have it lean. Because there is some parts in here, let it lean. I don't think it leans as much as it should because I don't like the gap. I don't know any other way they could do it, but uh, yeah, it's un it's unfortunate. But I do think the overall construction of the set isn't the best. I think, especially the panels, I just don't like the panel system. I, I get that it's the only way you can do a set like this. I personally find the panels the same thing on some of the other fig sets like this to cause problems. Like, again, this section coming up. However, I think this is the best LEGO Star Wars set ever, hands down. There is not another LEGO Star Wars set that even comes close to this. And that's why I persist on this. I think this is an amazing, amazing set. However, I do, again, have some personal problems with how some of the construction is done, I think. Um... Like this, I think these parts should just be part of that, and these should just be part of this overall assembly. Uh, do not really like the uh, thing it rests on, and I think that isn't great for the overall set. Um, but yeah, I I have some personal problems with the set, as you can tell, but again, I do still think it is the best of Star Wars set. So now let's just place it on the shelf where it's going to live most of its life. And here it is placed with the gunship above it, as it should be. I'm now I'm planning to add some other things to these shelves, 
this was actually originally the shelf that was going to have Rivendell, and then I did not like Rivendell, so it did not get a shelf and is not worthy of a shelf, in my opinion. But uh, I voiced problems with that set before. But yeah, here it is and where it is going to stay for a long, long time. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm sorry this video ended up being rather negative, but uh, I truly do love this set. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.